On this episode of Patrol Tactical, we talk about how to lubricate your super fast race comp pistol sports car gun. Hey guys, I'm Dave from Patrol Tactical, and on this episode we're going to be talking about the STI 2011 platform of pistols. Dan from Brainerd writes, I just picked up a brand new STI 2011. Can you please make a video showing me how to properly lubricate it? Dan, thank you very much for the comment. We appreciate it. And uh, I know Dan personally. He's a student and friend of ours, and the gun that he picked up is a sweet shooting pistol. So yeah, let's dive into it. First things first, you need to make sure safety is your number one priority. We need to make sure the pistol is unloaded. So before I do that, I'm going to make sure that there is no ammunition around my workspace, no magazines, no loose rounds, absolutely nothing. We are completely ammunition free. Next, we're going to verify the pistol is unloaded. So I'm going to lock the slide to the rear, and I'm going to do my standard verify procedure, which is look, look, look. I'm going to look in the magwell, nothing in the magwell. Look in the loading area, nothing in the loading area, and look in the chamber. I'm going to look away, and I'm going to repeat. Look, look, look. So now I have verified that this firearm is unloaded. Now it should be noted that all of the crew on site has also verified that this firearm is unloaded. Now that the firearm has been verified unloaded, we can go ahead and drop the slide and begin field strip disassembly. Now what you're going to need for this is you might need a plastic punch and depending on your guide rod, you may or may not need a tool or a bushing wrench depending on the style of your build. Now this particular one, I don't need a bushing wrench, but I do need this little paper clip looking tool to retain the guide rod spring, and I'll show you how I use that in a second. First thing we need to do is remove the slide from the frame. And how we do that is we have to remove the slide stop, which is this lever right here. And you'll see the other part right there, this pin right here. We need to remove that. Now, in this position, you can push and push and push. You can get the biggest hammer you could find, and it's not going to come out. Well, if you get a really big hammer, you could probably force it out, but don't recommend that. So there's a notch right here on the slide, this little notch. There's actually two notches. The larger one is what the slide stop engages when the slide is locked back to the rear, but it's the smaller notch right here that we need to focus on. So what we need to do is we have to pull the slide back far enough so that this small notch lines up with this piece of the slide stop. Once those two pieces are in alignment, we can then push the slide stop out and remove it. There's a couple different techniques to do it, and it's gonna be a little tough for me on camera, but I'm gonna do my best here. What you can do is you can come over the top with one hand and pull back on the slide, and you might have to readjust just a hair until you get it in the position. You can see now that this notch is aligned with the slide stop lever. Another technique, uh, depending on if you're right-handed, left-handed, you may grab the slide, you know, like this, and then hold it with one hand while pushing it out. And again, in this position, you can see that this little notch is aligned with the slide stop lever. So whatever technique you use, either one's fine. Biggest thing is, is make sure you have control of the slide so you keep that in alignment. Make sure they're in alignment, just like so, and then on this side, we're actually going to push out. So this is where we grab our plastic punch, and we're going to push the slide stop lever out, and you can see it starts to protrude right there. If it does that, we're golden. Then we're just going to take the slide stop lever completely out, set it aside. Don't let go, because if we let go, the slide will come right off the frame. So we're slowly going to release that, because it's still under spring pressure. We're going to push the slide forward and remove the slide from the frame. Now again, if you're using a traditional 1911, you may need that bushing wrench to remove the bushing and then the spring before you did this, and we'll do a separate video on a traditional 1911. So now you have your slide, you have the recoil spring assembly, and we need to get that out of here as well as the barrel. So for my particular gun, what I need to do is I need to compress the spring, and then I will have to insert this little paperclip tool to capture it basically. Now how we do that is we compress the recoil spring on this particular system. Now if you have a toolless guide rod, it may be a little different for you and if there's enough demand, we'll do a video on that. So I'm gonna compress this spring by pushing back on the back portion of the guide rod forward. And when I do that, a little hole in the guide rod will appear right about here. 
and I will insert the paper clip tool. We're going to compress, expose this hole, which is right here. Hopefully you guys can see the hole on camera. We're going to put the tool in and we're slowly going to release backwards. Just like so. And now we can rotate and lift the recoil spring assembly right out. So just set that aside. Now we'll come out the barrel. And the barrel will just come right out forward of the slide, but you need to make sure that you rotate the linkage right here down, just like that. We're going to press the barrel kind of straight through. If you rotate it, it's going to get hung up. So we want to make sure that it's nice and straight, and it will come straight out, just like that. So now we have the major components of the STI 2011 disassembled. And this is basically as far as I would recommend anybody go unless you're an armorer, a gunsmith, uh, or if you really want to get yelled at by your maker, your builder of your gun because you can mess something up and then you have to send it back to them and they're not going to be happy about it. So let's talk about the recoil spring assembly. It's three pieces. And to take it apart, it's actually super easy. We're just going to pull back, take the little retaining tool out, Release slowly because it's under spring pressure. Don't let it go so it zings across the room. And now you have the three pieces. So now you can clean the guide rod, the spring, you know, clean everything right up. Super easy to do. Now, it's actually not hard to put back together. It's just a matter of remembering which way things go. You don't want to put things on backwards. So all we would do is put the spring on, compress this like so and then use the retaining tool until we're ready to put everything back together. Now that we have our pistol field stripped, we have the major components. We have the frame, we have the slide, we have the barrel, recoil spring assembly, and of course, the slide stop. So let's talk about lubrication, because that was the main question that Dan had. And it's very important that you keep this firearm lubricated because there's a lot of metal to metal contact surfaces. So let's talk about the frame first. I lubricate this surface here, the surface there. You can put a small drop right there. On the other side, lubricate those surfaces there. And of course, all the way. I'm just getting a little sloppy with the marker, but that's the main points to lubricate on the frame. On the slide, I don't really need to lubricate much because the slide rails that contact the frame are going to get their lubrication when we put it back together. And then as far as the surfaces inside that lock up to the barrel, that's going to get lubricated when I put the barrel back together with the lubrication on it. On the barrel, you're going to want to put some lube anywhere you see wear marks and kind of spread that lubrication around. I also lubricate there and just again spread that lubrication around. We'll flip it over and we also need to lubricate here in this pivot. And this is the only area of the gun that I personally use grease. Otherwise I use lubrication. Generally, I'm not a huge fan of grease because it attracts more dirt and it doesn't run away. The main point of lubrication is to cool the gun, lubricate, of course, and then allow particles and gunk and whatever to flow away. And grease really suspends that. It just kind of makes a sticky paste. So we want to uh, use grease very sparingly. And then recoil spring, I will lubricate the guide rod and then spread that around. The lubrication I'll be using is Slip 2000's Extreme Weapons Lube. This stuff works great in a variety of temperatures. This particular stuff is the standard EWL. It does also come in a 30 weight, which in the summer, I might use that heavier weight lubrication because it doesn't run or burn off as quick. For grease, I'll be using the Slip 2000 Extreme Weapons Grease. And again, I'm gonna be using this very sparingly. On the frame, we're gonna lubricate these surfaces right here. And again, I'm just kind of spreading a fair amount of lubrication on each of the rails. Put a small drop right there. Now the one area I didn't talk about before, because it's really tough to get to with a marker, is I want to put a really small drop right inside here that eventually will hopefully contact the sear surface. And if you look inside there, you can see it, but on the camera it would just be impossible. So I'm just going to put a super small microscopic drop. I don't want to add a ton of lube there because again, if we add a lot of oil and we get powder, carbon, etc., that attracts there, it's just going to make a mud and you're not going to be able to clean that very easily. So you don't need to put a lot of lube there. As far as the barrel goes, 
we're just going to apply a generous portion on the exterior. Spread that around. And again, you'll see where the wear marks are if you need to put a little bit more. And just spread that. I will apply some on the top. Just kind of spread that. Now once we get to the linkage pivot right there, I'll put a small drop, kind of the recesses there so that lubricates that pin. And then I'll take a swab and I'll grab a small amount of grease and I'll apply it on the shiny surface here of the ramp. And again, that's where this is going to make contact. Now some guys will put a little bit on the inside as well. It's a little tough to get to it. We don't have to be, you know, perfectionists here. But just some lube, or some grease, excuse me, just some grease right there. And this will kind of smear around as we put the gun together. Guide rod, just take some lubrication all along the guide rod. I'll spread that around. That's about how much lubrication I'll use. Let's put the gun back together. I talked about this before and how it's not too terribly hard to put together by hand. You could compress. locate the hole. There is another tool that makes this job a little easier and this one's by AP Custom. And how this works is we'll put the plug on like so. I compress it down a little bit, put the tool over the plug and then now we can use this to compress down. Then we can put our retainer or paper clip right there like so. Now we're ready to complete the rest of the assembly. So we'll make sure the linkage is down insert the barrel into the slide from the front and we're moving straight back to the rear until it locks in place just like that. Now we can lift this up, rotate it back. We can insert our recoil spring assembly. Now we're gonna move the plug all the way forward just like so. Compress the spring, take out your retaining tool, slowly release it back so it rests in position. Now the slide is reassembled. You can go ahead and rotate that linkage forward just like that. Now we're ready to put the slide back on the frame. Make sure that linkage is down. If we have it rotated back, it's gonna be a little more difficult to reassemble because ultimately the slide stop needs to go through the frame and through that. That's why we want it down like that. We're gonna put the slide on the frame, go straight back, so it goes all the way in position. Now, once you start to move the slide back, you will see through this hole right here, you'll eventually see that linkage come in contact. Okay, and it's gonna be a little tougher the camera angle here. I'll try to get it on camera for you guys. But once that hole is clear, you can see through it, the linkage is out of the way, then you're gonna take the slide stop, insert, just like that, okay? Now I know the slide is not all the way back to the rear to get it lined up, but all we wanted to do was get it through the frame and get it through that linkage point. Now we can pull the slide all the way back to where this small half moon cut right here aligns with the slide stop lever we can go ahead and press it into place just like that. It'll kind of click and naturally go into place. Don't force it. If you have to get the hammer or a wrench on it, something's not aligned and it's not right. Now we can slowly release the slide forward all the way into battery. Go ahead and function check. Now the pistol is back together. Again, I can't stress enough, when you're first starting to put it together, make sure that linkage is down. Slowly, slowly, slowly start to put it back. You'll see it pass through. And once you have it in alignment, that's when we want to reinsert the slide stop just so we catch it. Then we're going to pull it all the way back to the rear, make sure it's aligned just like that. And that's how simple it is. So if we verify everything feels good, you can do your function checks 
things are great. We've properly lubricated and reassembled the STI 2011. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. We would love to see you involved with our community. If you have any suggestions, any feedback, please let us know. Please check us out on Facebook, facebook.com slash patrol tactical. Leave some comments below, suggestions, whatever. We'd love to see it. Whenever you shoot, make sure you shoot safe. Whenever you're working on firearms, make sure you're doing so safely. There's no ammunition or magazines around. Stay safe. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.